a very interesting topic and i know you enjoyed last week if you did not join us last week please please do stay with us this week and i know that god almighty will do it in jesus name amen. amen so today we'll be talking about something very very interesting and i know that you are going to benefit maximally what are we talking about today we are talking about the quality of our lives the quality of our lives but now we are going to be talking about it as a youth quality of our lives as a youth now i'm going to uh, we are going to be talking about what quality means and what life means so that you can be able to understand what we are talking about mm -hmm. so my friends are going to talk about what quality is before we talk about quality of life and then take it as a youth so i know you are going to enjoy it so my friends um my brothers and sisters what can if someone is watching this what can the person get to mean quality and life when you talk about quality and then life what are we talking about um first of all when we talk about quality i look at it in terms of value okay. you see even for gadgets when we see gadgets you know, they are of different companies, they are of different types, they are of variety. Yeah. But what, what differentiates one from the other is the value that it carries, which is the what? Which is the quality. You might like a brand mm -hmm. and not like the other brand. Why? Because of the value that it holds. Mm -hmm. Or we can look at it from the aspect that um, um, value in which almost everybody tag something you know for example now me seeing meeting someone you know literally you should expect the person to be humble gentle those are those quality then when we now associate it with quality of life then we are now talking about the values of life what are the values of life then when we now come together to talk about youth as a youth then what are the values of life that should be found in a youth. That's what I get from the word quality. Yeah, thank you very much. So you are saying that quality means value. Yeah. So if, can we say that value is um, a general word? Once someone says value, the first thing that comes to your mind is quality. Or does value have something to do with individuals, the way we define value to be, or quality to be, since they are the same thing? Do we take it from individual perspective or from a general context? Yeah, there is the general and there is the personal. Okay. Now, for example, looking from the point of view of, let's look at the Apple product, for example. Yes. It has a word value, okay. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Then, everybody wants to use any product that comes from Apple. If we look at Samsung, everybody wants to use the product that comes from Samsung. Mm -hmm hearing it from for the first time but personally we have what we want from different products yes. you know uh, apple might be the only thing raining and you as an individual you just don't like it yes they have the quality they have the value but to you as a person is not yeah it's not what you want so it can either be general or Okay. So, in our context, my brethren, I, I want us to, are we talking about it from the individual, are we talking about it from the general perspective? Yeah. Well, I would like to say, like our brother said that quality is value, okay. value of the product, and also I wanted to add that it's also, it's about attributes of that product, and okay. when you think about in general or individual okay. yes generally generally like you say that people may see something and desire the product and want to use that product but the truth is that not everybody will want to go for that product okay. so on a general sense somebody if you talk about life as human being mm -hmm. some people may see this person that wants to like the person because of all oh, the attributes that the person possesses, okay. because of all oh, the the way the person handles things or the way the person tries to solve situation at every point in time. Okay. Some other persons that may not like that attribute in the person, mm -hmm. 
Another thing again, I would like to say is, we can say it's a general thing that, okay, like, I, I know you said something about people having humility, being humble, but there are some people that, because they don't have that quality, they may begin to feel uh, um, upset with what you have and may not like that attribute in you. So, on a general note, of course, anything that is good, everybody should like it. Everybody should like it. But does everybody actually like it? You know, it's, it's actually, don't worry, we are, we are still going to come to that. So let's still emphasize on quality. I wanted to stay on quality, but okay. I want to say, does quality have, uh, does excellence, what's the relationship between excellence and quality? Can you find excellence in quality? Okay. Can you yeah. say that there's excellence in quality? And Once you say quality, then excellence. excellence. Yeah. I would say that. Uh, the excellence is mm -hmm. more of an adjective. Okay. It's what uh, qualifies, or slice quantifies uh, the, the now or the third uh, okay. quality. So if you say, take for example, you have quality, you have good quality, mm -hmm. you have excellent quality, you mm -hmm. have bad quality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the context of quality. Mm -hmm. Although naturally, uh, most times, when people say this thing is, this thing is quality, they actually mean that it's excellence. actually very yes. yes. like excellent. But excellence, you should, you should, definitely you should be found quality. quality. Thank you very much. Okay, so they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. So my sister mentioned, okay, my brother talked about value. My sister talked about attributes. Then you talked about excellence being um, an adjective, a qualifying adjective. Mm -hmm. So my question is, you know, since people have their different way of defining quality, their different way is, does it make it acceptable? that I prefer this to be my own quality, to be what I see as value, to be what I call attribute that I like. Does that make it the acceptable quality in the life of a person? Let me say something. Uh, okay. I think I, if I may understand your question uh, a little bit. Okay. Now, people see attributes in okay. people and they admire them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they admire them because they have the same attributes. Yes. Uh, sometimes they are, take for instance, somebody uh, like you. You naturally like someone who is like you also. Mm -hmm. Now, people also see attributes in you and admire them. Uh, if, they don't, if they don't have them and they see that this thing will be good for me, mm -hmm. they, they like them also. Now, but the attributes that we have, that we have, that we like, doesn't mean that it must be for the general good. I'll give us an example. Now, we find Joseph and his brethren. Joseph, uh, they were 11 or I think 12 at that time. They yeah, are 12 because the Benjamin would have been definitely young. And they were, they were many 11. That they, were, they 10 went to the field. Yeah. And Joseph now was sent you know, to go and check on them. And you know, Joseph going comes back to tell his father of their evil because we need to the best But we see, you know, the brethren not liking that attribute in Joseph. Yes. Yeah. So and the, the and we see we see the brethren you know possibly Simeon would have uh, Simeon possibly would have liked that the trait of Levi covering up for him yeah. Levi yeah. would have loved the trait of would have loved uh, the, the trait of covering up in, in the life of uh, yeah. of Reuben and each and Isaac and Zebulon and all of them so we see that the attributes that we like in somebody may not be for the general the other the other cases like the issue of pride mm -hmm. we find that the environment the, the way the environment you know, the world has made itself in that. If you are not somebody that asserts your value, if you are not somebody that uh, pushes yourself out, nobody will look at you. But that attribute shouldn't be for the general good. I think if I may answer your question. Yeah, that yeah. Can I say something? Okay. From the point of view we came from, I think as long as the attribute or the value is in line with God's standard, yes. then it should be generally accepted. Okay. Okay. But if we look at it in the other sense, in the world sense, you know, what, what is good for the least is not good for the other. Because, for example, where you were brought up, you understand, yes. has a very long way to determine the kind of attribute and value you have. Because we mingle with different people, yes. day in, day out. You see that if the environment at which you grew up, is an environment that is cool and calm. You find that it's difficult to have 
You get what I'm trying to say. Now, because you you are grown up in that kind of environment, when you see someone that doesn't behave calm, it looks similar to you. You feel that your own should be acceptable. So if you look at it in the worldly aspect and Okay, okay. Let's let's go in let's dive into quality of life as a youth. So what should be the quality of life? For a youth, yes, that is required for a youth. We are all youths. Yes. Yes. So and everyone at some point was a youth. Yes. Yes. Everyone at some point was a youth. So what should be the quality of life? I expected. Yes, for a youth. Now I would say that uh, for a youth, you must have yes. principles. Now, the quality of life, uh, youth usually give it to peer pressure. Sometimes yes. knowingly, sometimes unknowingly. Mm -hmm. Now, the quality of life that a youth should have, one of them I want to talk about is having a principle. Like, okay. this is, this is what, and the principle should be drawn from the word of God. Okay. Because of course, the word of God is what guides us. Mm -hmm. The word of God is what you know, keeps us in life. So, a youth should have principle. Like, this is what I want. This is how I want to live my life. And that principle should make you, should define you. You shouldn't, you know, nobody should come and get toy with that principle. Nobody should come to break those principles. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I want to say is that having that, this principle is what to guide you from, you know, peer pressure and when all those things come. So you must have principle, principle based on the word of God. We give you quality. Okay. I also, think, I to, okay. Sorry, I want to add to what our brother said. Okay. I think also, adding to principle is also discipline. Because okay. as one growing in life, there are some mm -hmm. things that may want to push you to go outside your principle. But when you are disciplined in what you have told yourself, I, I believe it will also guide a youth out there. Okay, talking about your principle being based on the word of God. Now, I, I, I see people being, um, will I say, being confused about what the word of God actually is. You know, so I will read the life of Samson, and then they take some aspects of Samson, and then they go like that. Mm -hmm. And they go like that. Does, does is I don't know. All the things that we see in the Bible are they actually the word of God? First, I think the first quality of the youth okay. that I would say is to be born again. Okay. That should be the basis to start. Okay. You know, when when a man is born again, you see every other thing will start coming in place. A man that isn't born again will find it difficult to be humble, mm -hmm. will find it difficult to do some other things of God. Mm -hmm. So I think from your perspective, the first thing is being born again, because if you're not born again, like we have it all out there. Mm -hmm. Some people taking a portion of the word of God and just, you know, they blow it out of proportion. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, the whole thing is just everywhere. So when you are born again, and another thing is the fear of God, because the word of God is God himself. So now having the fear of God, you, you will always invite the Holy Spirit, which will help you. Okay. So the basis is first, being born again, and also having the fear of God. Okay, for our viewers to understand, because actually we are trying to pass, communicate to our viewers, and we have a question from Israel, Abel, he's asking, he said, who is a youth? He wants us to talk about who is a youth. Yeah. First of all, yes, who is a youth? And he also asked another question, what age? Can we say this person is a youth? It's a, it's a very interesting yes. question. It's a, it's a very... It's, so, who is a youth? We already emphasized that we are youth. Yes. He said that we are and I've so seen some, some elderly people actually say, I'm a youth. You so is there, <laughs> is there a particular context that you look at say is this person is a youth? I actually, one day, uh, someone met me and told me that uh, a 60-year-old man is a youth. Okay. And uh, it was kind of somehow, because I imagine the 60-year-old man with you know, brown hair and yes. everything, and white beards and you know, say he's a youth. So I went, to, I went online to check what's the age, like what but should, should be like a divine status. So what I saw was uh, from, I think, uh, 15, 15 to about uh, 40. Mm -hmm. Now, but I want to say this, that uh, maturity differs. People mature at different ages. People maturity, in fact, it's not even actually by age, it's by experience, it's by mm -hmm. what we learn. Now, 
So we cannot really put a definite boundary for the age, like so so and so this is so and so this is because actually you may see somebody that is there. 40. But the person is, the thinking is, is, you may be surprised. Mm -hmm. And you may see somebody that is a 40 behaving like you know a child. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I cannot say personally, I cannot say that we should put a boundary. Mm -hmm. But I think that if you if you should know if you are it or not, you should know. Should know. <laughs> I think you should know. It, 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 ha, it, yeah. Somebody is asking, I want to know. <laughs> that means, from, somehow, you confused. Yeah. So he wants us to help him know. Okay, I, I think I mentioned some age from age yeah. boundary. From I'm even thinking I'm even thinking I'm even thinking that you know even twelve because now we see twelve year old even twelve year old ladies and then some is something else. So I'm even thinking Okay, I also want to throw this question. If we even put it at forty, if we look at people at the age of let's look at we said it's a time to explore. If we look at someone like Bill Gates, he's still exploring. Yes, so of course. Like, even no, at, even no. at, like he said, from 15, but even at 11, people no. are already exploring. People are uh, already yeah. 11, yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. 11 yeah. years yeah. old. Let me, let, let me say this that 11 years old doesn't want to stay in children's class. Yes, yeah, what's about the woman's class? You so you so call the child a child. He's like, no, I'm, I'm not, not a child. child. Yeah. I mean, I've been so from I'm 11 years. years. I, I think I think I think I think there shouldn't be a, a definite boundary. But there, if there should be a boundary, I think the range will be from like you said eleven to maybe let's say 40, um, 45 maybe. Oh uh, my brother mentioned exploration. Mm -hmm. I think every age is out to explore because the way the world is going, technological advancements and every other thing that is happening around us, it makes us to explore. You see a sixty year old man, he's trying to explore what's this thing all about. It was mm -hmm. not there few years ago now I want to explore and see what it's about. So I'm going to I like that exploration definition because it's going to take a lot of people in that number instead of the age. Mm -hmm. Because from two years people are already exploring. Mm -hmm. Yes, they want to know that you see in two years it's very positive. Mommy, why is this? Father, why is this? And a lot of things. So um, I don't know if anybody has something contrary, but for me I'll take it from the exploration aspect. Yes, I'll continue to it. Yes. I don't really get what you mean by exploration, like being inquisitive, curious about the things happening around you, trying to get maybe the best or whatever you think is the value that you have to get from whatsoever around you. So I think every age is 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 fit for that. Okay, well we can say so every age is fit for that. So we can say that everybody is a youth. Can we say that? Yeah, no, I can't say that. We can't say that. We must have children. Yeah. Okay, yes. We must have. We must have the age. We must have the age. We must have the elderly. You know, yes. the, the elderly. You cannot be put Okay. What What I can say is that. Okay. In life, there are stages. There are okay. stages in life. Yes. When the person is being given birth to, uh -huh. there are some kind of things that. This innocent, that's yes. very simple minded, just at a particular age, you don't even know what, you know, even though children now they are wise, but you cannot deny that there are still some kind of yes. innocence yes. in them. Yes. But there is now a age that you reach, mm -hmm. and you find your mind begin to, you know, this thing is bad, mm -hmm. you know, it's bad, and you begin to plunge into it, wanting to know the depth of it, even yes. though they are telling you. Don't if you go into this thing now, you are going to wound yourself, you are going to get injured, you are not going to like your life. Mm -hmm. There is an age around that age, when you begin to find out that you begin to dispose, you begin to show the kind of mm -hmm. dispositions, mm -hmm. wanting to know the depth of the evil, your father will be warning you about not, not climbing this fence yeah. in your house. Maybe that fence has been there. Eleven years, by nine, your, your, your mother has never come to crossing the world, but mm -hmm. and there is one stage you reach, something, intuition just come. I want to cry, I want to know yeah. what, is, what yes. is behind yeah, this, yeah. what is behind this fence. At that age, yeah. you can now say that your hand. Yeah. You are entering the youth stage. You are entering that phase of exploring. You want you to. You want to know what, and they will begin to plan. That's why you find out that in this, they have excess strength. They have excess. They want to. They want to make sure that they have. They have. They have known everything. Yeah. Even though, and they begin to show this kind of thing. So, like that, like that. At the particular, particular stage, also, you begin to find that the person begin to become calm, mm. and begin to say that. 
I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, like, like, I've seen, like, I've seen, I've seen what's going on. At that point, the person is, is exiting youth stage, youth stage. He's, he's, he's entering, he's entering the adult stage where his head is now down, and it varies on the people. Some people can enter it too lately. They can enter yeah. it, and they can leave it late. Some people can leave it early, even at the age of 25. Because of responsibility, they are found out that they are not thinking the way yeah, they are reasoning low, they are reasoning very so it varies on but you know it, the experiences will tell you when you have entered into it and when you have left it. So I don't think yeah, anybody so let's balance, so we actually have youth. Let's balance it from the word of God. You know, first Corinthians thirteen eleven said, When I was a child, mm -hmm. I think like a child. But when I am a man, I forget the things of the child. So now I think the definition of youth is when you get to that point and don't as our brother actually said, those childhood behavior you have to what? You have to leave it behind yeah. and face the reality of life. Okay, since we have answered this question, let's go back to what we are talking about. The quality of life mm -hmm. as a youth. Now no, I'm still on that youth because we are yes, because we have to we have to we have to um create a balance. Mm -hmm. Now talking about youth, my brother mentioned something about peer pressure. Now I'm going to give an example of a shocking thing I I I I I, I got to know. You know, there is this man I met recently and then they are telling me that um um he was not smoking before. You understand all his life he has not been smoking and he's about fifty or so. But suddenly he changed the location and came to a certain place where people smoke and his friends were smokers. And before you know it, he became a smoker. Do you understand? This is someone that has lived all his life avoiding these things. Probably he even has principles. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly comes and then trying to explore this other area. So is it possible for someone to still um, um, no, I'm going to ask, is this, is this quality I, I, of life just limited to a youth or is it a general thing that everybody has to kill? Quality of life is a, is a general thing. It's a general thing. It's not, it's not just meant for you to do. Now, answering your question about the experience of the man that you know, he went out and then began to live where they were cigarette smokers and then began to smoke. Now, what happened to him was what we would call even communication called yes. balance. Now, but peer pressure is different. Peer pressure is if I don't do this thing, people are going to look down on me. If I don't do this thing, people are going to, you know. It's still um, part of it but, because I'll talk about. But his own, his own case at, was. At that his age. own case was. At that age. At that age. Yes. At that age. I don't think, I don't think yes. he would feel that if that I don't do this thing. Yes. He did it, you know, just. If my friends are doing it, let me that just put that alone. Yes. He didn't do it because, you know, I, I, if I don't do this in there, no, I, 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 but I, I said maybe he has, he has not yet left that exploring, exploring stage. Of course, that's why I, I said, said every age is still exploring because now I've met his friends and I know what they have done to his side. They have said a lot of things that made him to be able to change his life principles. So I'm just saying this because of our viewers. So you don't have the mind that, ah, what we are talking about is just narrowed down to the youth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of these things that face the youth, some of the life principles still apply to every mm -hmm. other person. Mm -hmm. It's all about us looking out. So we are going back to our quality of life as a youth. I think mm -hmm. you mentioned um, having principles and then mm -hmm. Sister Faith also talked about discipline. Okay. It's mm -hmm. not just to say, okay, I have this principle, I, but you must be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Even with your principles. So let's just say, to be candid with us, discipline without God, principle without God will fail. Yes. I've right. seen a practical example. Mm -hmm. It will fail. At some point, as we said, peer pressure, like, I have an example of something that happened here. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to go into doing the so-called act. Mm -hmm. Now, he found that the friend he is with mm -hmm. does that. And they were not pressurizing him to do it. But he felt that to feel among, mm -hmm. he needs to do it. Yes, he has his own principle. He has his own discipline. But because of where he was, and I think that what 
you are exploring will lead you to the group of people that you explore together. Because you can't be going Yes, because you can't be going this way and you will meet people. It's because by the time you start dialoguing with them, you get to know I no, I don't I can't work with this set of people. So I think basically principle discipline will fail as a human, it will. So um I want to ask, you know, like my brother said that there is a particular time that that is meant for being a youth. Now you find out that that time that people are exploring, they have the strength, they have the energy to pursue whatever it is that they want to pursue. Now, for example, Samson. Samson, someone might look at Samson and say he has a quality of life. Samson was a strong man. He was full of strength. The Lord was with him, but there was a but. So is it possible for someone to have value and still not have value? <laughs> because Samson, if you look at him, he had he had, value. Value. Yes, he had, he had value. some qualities. Is it possible for someone to still have quality and still not have quality? As a youth, you are pursuing something, but yet you are pursuing nothing. Because, yes, if, because if you look around, you see a lot of youths that are pursuing something. You tell someone, what, what, what do you want? See, I want to be this. But actually, in the real sense, when you look at it, that yes. pursuing nothing is like shadow. Because at the end of the line, the person comes to recount and is like, what have I been doing the whole time? That time has suddenly passed and I'm nowhere. Mm -hmm. Of course, a lot of adults are living that life now. They look at, ah, over the years, I had the strength, I had the zest, I had the zeal, I had everything, but what suddenly happened? Mm -hmm. So we are talking about this useful because it's a very delicate stage in our, in our lives. Mm -hmm. If you don't get him right, ah, passing on to the other stage might be very mm -hmm. difficult for you. You know, now we are talking about the word of God. My brother mentioned the word of God being born again. But actually, how many people know what it really means to be born again? How many people know what the word of God says concerning matters? Who have taught them? Who have taught How many people have actually sat to? To be taught and actually why they are being taught how many people have learned so let's talk about this okay before we because of our viewers some people are just joining us so let's let's say our topic again so we are talking about quality of life as a youth yes. that's what we are uh, discussing so for people joining us this is what we are talking yes. about so if you have any question, you can please put the question in the comment section and we'll do justice for you. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now let's take a I think the first thing is... You can take any of the questions. Yes. Yeah. The first one is, say, can someone have, have value and still, still not have value? Now, what is the motive? Okay. What is the motive behind? Are you being driven by societal values? Yes. You know, when where you find yourself. This is the value of the people you find around you. Mm -hmm. You unconsciously you might make it your own value. Yes. Now, you as an individual, is that what you want? Mm -hmm. And you find out that when people get to do that, they have value, but in the real sense they don't have value. The value they have is actually what I would call environmental value. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh, please before you Go for that for the, explain the environmental value. So that okay. We, okay. For example. What you need okay. For, for example. For example. You, okay. Let's let me use this. You find yourself in the midst of friends that they play all kind of musical instruments, mm -hmm. and you can't play any. Okay. Now. That's what they have as talent, value. They see as themselves, isn't it? You look at yourself that ah, it's something. I like the way it plays, I like the way, you know, that could push you to have a value that you also want to learn. Yes. But in the real sense, you don't want to learn. You don't want to feel left out. Maybe you go out with them and you are the only ones that are been single and other that you cannot, I think we got what I'm trying yes. to do. So now, the environment, people around you, these are the values they have. You can take it up to be your own value, but in the real sense, you don't have. You don't have. So that's okay. Okay. If I understand you clearly, like somebody can can actually be applauded for something, 
But in the in the actual sense, the person is doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if no, it's true. It's, it's, it's possible for someone to say, I have talent, and then he's playing the keyboard, and everybody is applauding the person. But we cannot narrow it down to just talent. Mm -hmm. It's possible that someone is being applauded, but mm -hmm. does not have any character at all, mm -hmm. does not know how to address people, mm -hmm. does not know how to carry himself in certain occasions, mm -hmm. does not know what humility and what it means to build relationships. Can we say that talent is now value? But if for someone to have value and still not have value, you know we have been talking about. You know we have been talking about value, 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 value. Quality. Somebody may be wrong now. Give me an example of value. 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 Talent, mm. talent, mm. talent. Value is not just is not just like an entity, like mm. just one. one. Mm. Yeah. There are various things that mm. come mm. inside mm. to make. So to make somebody to make a, a youth you know have you no know, quality have value mm -hmm. so talent is one of them because if you have uh, uh, all these other mm -hmm. ones if you are diligent you are nice you are everything like, you don't have anything to show for it you don't have anything to actually uh, apply those diligence to mm -hmm. like people say you are diligent but what are you diligent for you don't have anything you find out that you, you have you have plenty of value mm -hmm. so talent is one of them like I said earlier on, I think I brought talked about uh, I, I talked about principle. Somebody talked about discipline. Uh, diligence also is also among them. Wisdom and then all other things. And this thing come together just like pieces of the jigsaw puzzle come yes. together and then make up the entity of value as well. Yes. So I think we can now begin to expand more on what are those values and then maybe give examples of people that had okay, like going to your question now, Samson for instance, mm -hmm. he had a uh, gift. He had a, we can give or we can also call it talent, but it's more of a gift. And then he had all, all those things. Now you know, but then he didn't have a discipline, yeah. like our sister said. He didn't have, he didn't have discipline. He didn't have principle. You know, he was somebody that always wanted to get what he wanted. He allowed mm -hmm. his for coming, mm -hmm. and find out that those things that he lacked, the things that you know he, he, he lacked, you know, those values that are supposed to, uh, so that's supposed to be the foundation, the building blocks mm -hmm. of the quality of his life. Those things I lacked, uh, eventually the house came crumbling down and it crumbled down very hard on me. Mm -hmm. That is eyes gushed out and a lot of things. Yes. So I think that's what I want to say. Are you satisfied with mm -hmm. um, 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 it? They are answering the question, but I really want our viewers to understand that it's possible that you are good in one area, mm -hmm. but as a youth, quality is something that is built. Yes. It's not something you just come and just possess. Mm -hmm. The fact that you are being applauded does not mean mm -hmm. that you're really enjoying the quality of life that you're supposed to have as a youth. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be time to build, time to have some foundation characters. Like, for example, Joseph. Why those things were happening to him, he was kind of building his character, building the kind of person that he wanted to be. Until God brought him into what he wanted him to be. Mm -hmm. Now remember, when he was in the prison, it was, ah, why is your face like this? He, he was really someone that is caring. Yeah, yes. Someone that, oh, oh have you want, yes, I have compassion. He yeah. already has it in him. It was a, a really character. Mm -hmm. Even though, that's why the brother hated him. He did not carry on those characters like, ah, mm -hmm. everybody, if the face is like this, that means the person is keeping money mm -hmm. with me mm -hmm. and all this thing. But he still went on, ah, what is the problem? We are all in the prison together. He was not carried away with his predicament. Now some youths, once they have problem from home, they'll carry to church. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you, get, you, are, you are trying to tell a, a, a youth, please, can you sit there? It's like, please don't. And if it traces, like, the parents had said something at home mm -hmm. and then brought it all over to the place. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is this quality of life is being built. Every day is an opportunity for you to build it. And if you're a youth, it's a very ample time for you to build characters, wherever it is that is happening around you. The platforms that have been given to you, which we are going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yes. The platform that get, maximize it and build the quality of life that you want. Mm -hmm. you, you also talk about, but well, we have a question, we'll take a question uh, from Israel Ebel. His question is, what is the difference between talent and potential? Because we talked about mm -hmm. talent, so talent. he wants to be clarified on what is the difference between talent, talent and, and potential. potential. 
Are, are they different or are they together? We need to know. <laughs> for me, for me, for me, talent is part of the potential. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just it's just a part of it. Potential is a package. Mm -hmm. Then talent comes as part of the whole. Mm -hmm. It's possible that um, I have the gift of um, encouraging somebody, but I the, my talent is speaking. I can speak well. You understand? Mm -hmm. But the potential now is in the content, as in the content of the talent. I don't know how I'm going to explain it, but I know that for me, talent is different from potential. I think from what you were saying, just like this fruit basket there is in our front, yes. talent is just like, for example, the banana. Yes. Just part of it. Part of you have a whole lot of things mm -hmm. hanging around. It's you can't just sing, single out one of it. So I think. So we can still are they together or are they different? Okay. What well, what I would say about talents and potentials is I will use the example of maybe uh, is singing singing. I don't know if you watch all these all these maybe music uh, competition something. Yes. You find somebody that has a very nice voice, even a gifted voice, and. Mm -hmm. You find that maybe he has sang one song like this now, and everybody is crying. Yes. You see, the judges want to, they don't give their comment, mm -hmm. begin to give their comment. You find somebody will say that this person, you have a gift, boy, you have a gift. Mm -hmm. And you have the potential of becoming the greatest singer. Mm -hmm. right? So the thing is that the boy has the gift, mm -hmm. but now he has the potential of becoming of becoming the the best singer maybe in his, in his country. Mm -hmm. So now, it's the talent that builds his potential potential of becoming the best singer even in his country yes. now if he fails to work on that talent, talent he will not arrive at the potential of becoming the best singer so that is how you can separate maybe talent and potential those are yes. the, the, the talent that builds the potential okay. Okay. so potential is like a future something why talent is what you already what have, you have. Okay. 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 I, <laughs> so I believe our brother is clear. Yeah, yes, yes. Or if you are not, you can still indicate in the section. Talent is different from potential. If you don't work on your talent now, whatever talent you already identified now, it's possible that the potential is not known yet. But as you keep developing the talent, with time you get into the future. You get into the talent. And you get into the potential. Okay, I want us to talk about what happens when a youth doesn't have these values we have been talking about. Okay. What happens? Um, I will draw from the word of God. Uh, in the book of Second Chronicles, um, I'm talking about King Uzziah. Okay. When he was 16 years or 17 mm -hmm. years. You know, when I go to study about him, I found out that it got to a point when the father mm -hmm. and um, Zechariah died. Mm -hmm. The Bible noted it that after they died, eh? He started failing. Now, as individual, as youth, mm -hmm. the value you possess is it because of the people around you? Mm -hmm. Someone is not naturally meek or naturally gentle, but because he wants the people around him to feel that he has it, he becomes meek. Mm -hmm. Now, when he now finds himself in a place that, okay, yeah, nobody is there, you understand? So for you to know that you actually have a value of, of something, a value, is to be tested. Now, he was tested. Now, the Bible made note of it that when the father was, when the father was alive, he was doing according, he was doing according to the will of God because of his father and also the prophet. I now got the light that probably talking as a man, maybe they will tell him, ah, if you do that, it's not good. You know, it, yeah. it couples up. If you do this, it's not good. It couples up. But if I know that when the two of them are no longer there, mm -hmm. now I'm in a free world. I can do anything. Mm -hmm. When you find yourself that your guardian, your parents, your pastor, they are not there. Even brethren that you pray together, you fight out together, they are not there. And you're being tested. And you can still stand by the grace of God. Then you have value. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's what. So I, I just I just want to 
add to what Roger Brian has said. Okay. That's talking about the example he gave. That, like he said, maybe when his father was there and the prophet, he was just acting up, but he didn't build it. Yes. He failed to build it. He failed to allow it to 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 be what? Yes, to be part of him. Not just what someone is telling mm -hmm. you. So do this, but allowing it to be part of mm -hmm. of the person. So because he, he, I just want to clear that that it can also be built built in you. Yes. It may not come naturally. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can also build it. Mm -hmm. So can we say that quality of life that has not been tested is actually not quality of life? If it has not been tested, it has if it has not been passed through fire. There's nothing that yeah, I, I heard something somewhere. Someone was like, you can't actually say which is true. You can't say that you are patient until something that mm -hmm. that tries your patient comes. You know, the fact you say I'm a very patient person. Mm -hmm. And then one of the days, something that needed me to wait. Wait as in beyond what I thought came. I was so impatient. I was, Wow, so I'm actually in patient. I, I, I can relate to that because me, I used to think, ah, I'm very wrong. <laughs> in my mind, in my mind, no, seriously, in my mind, I'm, I'm very humble. I can tell myself, if they ask me, what are you, I'll say, humility. <laughs> until, until, no, I'm serious, until something happened in class and someone was trying to teach me something. Mm -hmm. And I found that I was, I was just resisting it in my mind. Like, why is this person? I know what. I was not I was not humble. I'm not humble. <laughs> so that was a point that, that you are not humble. So like she said that if your quality of life has not been tested, then you don't need, you cannot be certain that you have these you know values in you. Now so, how can we put ourselves in position to be tested? Well, let me see. This. Let me see. This. Now okay. <clears throat> quality of life is there. Okay. Is from degree, one degree to another. Okay. Is you know built little by little, okay. little by little, little by little. Each decision okay. is an opportunity to either build it or destroy it. Okay. Okay. So you cannot, we cannot really see that if somebody has not uh, been tested, that yeah, there is also in degrees. Like take for instance, like, <laughs> like yes, they are in degrees. It's true. They are in degrees. Take for instance, you know, you can be in, you can be in a situation, you know. And then things are okay, but then you go into a water fire, mm -hmm. and things begin to, you know, do, yeah. you know, you know, and you begin to wonder. Somebody can, you know, be in a situation, and the person's mind is okay, the person's mind, you know, is, is sound, and then the person gets into a situation, and all of a sudden, discouragement, and, or offense, or anger, or something may be coming in. And you may be wondering, you say, ah, what is going on? Mm -hmm. So, these things, this. yes, so we are in degrees. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that, you know, it's you not are not, there. Yeah, it's, it's not there. there. You know, it's just an, it's just a sign or just an opportunity to show that you should build it. I'm not, but where there is a problem mm -hmm. is when that same test keep coming and keep on failing. failing. Mm -hmm. Then there's a problem. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that you know you should give up and say, ah, I don't have this. You know, okay. it's something that you should just. You know, so okay, let I'll keep on, you know, working, I'm working on myself. Yes. I and I get think it. one thing is that even when you've been tested and you pass it. Don't think you already have it. Yes, keep you As building. our brother has said, keep building because that which might be. Because he said it's in yeah. degree. Yeah, <laughs> so you it's never can. It's in degree. So it's as, a, as our sister said, and there's something, when you have a mindset about something, when the thing comes to affect you in the heart, you find out that what is in your mind disappears. Yes. You know, you feel that in your mind that I'm humble, I'm very calm, I'm this and that. But when the situation affects you, one, what you think you have will disappear. Is what stays there in the end that will tell yeah, you that, yes. yeah, actually you have this. And yes. it's not what you feel. What you feel. Yes. Yes. So we have to be very honest with ourselves and not be carried away with applause. It's possible that you are serving a particular person. For example, you are close to the pastor in the church and you are so wonderful. You know, you do what you, 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 do what you are supposed to do. He tells you do it and then you do it. But, and you are carried away. Oh, He's a very nice person, and you feel you have gotten it. Let him not deceive you to go and examine yourself again. It's possible, know you know yourself, have you not examined yourself? Sit down and recount outside of this place, outside of my parents' house. 
now they're telling me to do it like this, do it like that. Outside of, will I still be able to keep on with this? What is guiding me? Is it just the counsel, or have I made it part of my life? Oh, okay. Um, uh, Abel Israel has been saying, take my question, take my question. So we take his question. We are very sorry. We take your question now. He says, what does life of a youth has to do with his or her future? Like he's trying to say, what does life of a youth have to do with his or her future? Like in old age, okay. does it have any effect on a person at old age? Yes. That is of course, it does. of course it does. If you if you go to um, the elderly mm -hmm. now, they will give you pointers to their youthful age. They'll mm -hmm. tell you, ah, we used to do it, ah. You know that yeah. when they recount, they say sometimes if they're giving you advice, it's coming from the place of experience. Some have made mistakes, why some actually overcame mm -hmm. in the youthful age. So they're giving you from the part of I'm talking about sensible elders. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when they're talking to you, they're saying, we have done these things, we know the dangers. We know, which means they have passed through a stage in their lives. And like I said in the beginning, youthful age is actually like a, a kind of foundation we lay for whatever it is that we are going to get. Mm -hmm. Whatever you are going to be an adult, mm -hmm. somehow if you trace it, it's going, to, it's going to get you to your youthful age. Mm -hmm. So why we're emphasizing on youth is because it's a very delicate, if you get your foundation wrong, I tell you, the building will be shaking when the wind comes. So that's why we are saying, youth, please, this is a time to build whatever quality that you want to enjoy in the future. Reminds me of David. David, yes. he was a youth that built values for himself. He was in the bush. He was, in a, he was a shepherd boy taking mm -hmm. care of his uh, father's work in the bush. But he didn't allow that, uh, that what he yes. was doing. Yes. To hinder him from building values. In fact, what he was doing helped him to build values in him. So, as a, as a youth, the things that God has given you to do, mm -hmm. it should be an opportunity for you to build values with those things. I know. It's a, it's a time to build values with those things that God has given you to do. Yeah. And I think one thing that we should know is that, yeah, we are talking about value. Yes. We have good value, we have bad value mm -hmm. but there are some good value that are actually not needed i will like, give a, i like, will give an example okay. you know um my pastor do say something that uh, there's one thing about the youth when the youth catches something wrong that's what he will be running with now in the world it might be right yes. i think we get what yes, yes. it might be right in the worldly settings but in the real sense of it it is not needed it's That's why you talked about societal values. Yes. So, you know, now, the reason why I'm saying that from what we are saying now, yeah, it's good to have all those things, but have it right. Yes. Now, when it comes to the word of God, it's good to have the word of God, but which source, where are you because getting it from? Mm -hmm. Now, there are so many preachers, there are so many, do we oh, get what I'm trying to okay. say? Yeah, they are actually taken from the word of God, isn't it? Which is the Bible, isn't it? Yes, we are going to, yes, we are going to, to that because we, okay. we actually want to uh, talk about, want us to talk about platforms that, where, what are the platforms that God has created for us to get these values? So, yeah, what I'm actually trying to say is that either be any of the value, make sure that what you're getting is actually the right thing so that you won't run with the wrong thing and at the end, you will be like, no, I, I know, or I like this. As our sister actually said, some would have counted their losses and ah, I would have loved not to do this, I would have loved not to do that. And that's because at their youthful age, they were running with that same mindset. Okay. Okay. For the platforms, there are various platforms. Okay. We have, take for instance, you know, we have the church, okay. we have the clergy as pastors, we have our parents. Okay who can give good examples, because not everybody can give good examples. Yes. Now, we will also have, a, 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 even our enemies also, a, like the, in the case of a, a Joseph and his brothers, mm -hmm. you know, when the brothers sold him out of envy, you know, he, he, he took a decision not to, you know, not to allow it getting to him, not mm -hmm. to allow it, you know, you know, say what kind of thing is this and take it down. But instead, in spite of everything, he kept on going, even in the case of David and Saul. So there are various platforms through which we can use to build value. Even take for instance like what our sister said, what you are doing, like David while he was in the bush, 
you know, doing one of the things, the little thing, yeah, yeah, it was a platform for him to feel back. So there are various uh, 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 means for us to. Okay, since things. we are talking about platforms so that we can run up, um, how do we abuse this platform? Because sometimes people can abuse these platforms that like you have mentioned. So how do one abuse these platforms? Because you talked about the clergy, talked about the church, uh, talked about parents that give good examples. You even talked about uh, enemies and he gave an example of Joseph and his brethren. So how how can people abuse these platforms that God has given us as youth to guide us? You know, the word of God said in the book of Psalms, he said, the word of I eating in my ass that I may not sin against you. Now, this platform which we've mentioned, for us not to abuse it, is for us to actually have it at heart. Now, not because I'm close to the man of God, I shouldn't abuse it. We might be living under the same roof. I shouldn't abuse it. We might even be living, we might even be eating from the same place. I shouldn't abuse it. So that's where most youths get it wrong. Growing up with great men of God, or as he said, enemies, we might misuse it. We might say, oh, this, we just say this person, we write the person out outrightly. Even though there's a chance for, for us to go to the person and talk with, we just write the person off as we are seeing him, enemy. Mm -hmm. Enemy. Even when the Spirit of God is telling you, son, go and this, in your heart, enemy. So I think one of the ways to have the Word of God, even to have the Word of God in our heart and also allow the Holy Spirit to also take control of everything we do. Yes, that's very correct. So, um, I would like to say that, you know, uh, we have to, there are a lot of platforms. The church is there, the school is there, the, um, even the social media is a platform. A lot of things are there for us, the clergy and every other thing. But as a youth, please, you know, there is one thing that youth don't like with this, and that is taking the place of being a servant submitting to someone submitting to an authority nobody wants to hear everybody is talking about freedom freedom but i tell people i tell the youth most especially that we are not free at all in this world we are not free if you think you are free then wait for the consequences of your actions because someday you are going to it you are going to one way or the other briefly so as a youth this is a time of planting but then what are you planting it's possible that you are planting, yet you are planting nothing. It's possible that you are planting, yet it's very shallow. It's possible that you are not doing the necessary. You are planting, yet you are not watering. So there are a lot of things that can be done. Don't just say, ah, I'm good in this aspect, so this other aspect. God actually hates unjust balance. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you find yourself to do, please, by all means, find someone. I was telling somebody, I think today, that if you're youth and you have nobody, that looks you in the eye and say, this one, you got it wrong. This one, you did not do it well. Then you are heading for doom. Mm -hmm. Which is exactly what so many youths don't want to hear. They don't want to hear you are wrong. They just want their blood. They, want, they don't want you to criticize them. They don't want nothing. Mm -hmm. But if you are serving, be ready to be corrected. And if you are not ready to be corrected, please leave the place. People that serve should be people that should open their hearts to be corrected. People that open their hearts to actually receive and learn from whatever it is that have been said to them. So if you're youth and you're already being rebellious, you are corrected and you, are, you rebel, you revolt, maybe you, uh, uh, your boss corrects you and then two days you leave work, you don't come. I tell you, you are going to carry it to adulthood. One day, possibly, if you marry or however it is, however it is, you are going to one day, possibly your spouse will just say something and then you revolt and leave the house and leave everything in the house and all of that. In the church, possibly you are given a responsibility and one day you just wake up because somebody corrected you and say, this responsibility, just take it. As though you are doing it unto man, but not unto God. So we have to be very careful with these traces. If you, found, if you find out that you are someone that doesn't want to be corrected, there is no how you are going to build the quality of life that God wants you to build. Like David, if you look at the life of David, he was someone that is always open to, to maybe correction or something. He wants to hear. But even when he hears, he, he's not always quick to react. 
if you remember when he went to the battlefield and then he said, ah, what will be done? The brother actually attacked him. If, if it was someone that was not building a quality of life, he would have revolted, what nonsense, I even came to bring, I'm fine, I'm going to go and bear my father. He would have left and missed his time of getting into the spotlight that God wants him to get. And if you look at it, a series of events happened, and his adulthood, when the prophet said, said, you did this, he did not become angry and revolt and what nonsense and the king. He went and channeled his whatsoever and was saying, God, please have mercy on me. That is the quality of life that God wants us to do. Anything that you find it difficult to do now, you can't submit to an authority. Please, it's an avenue for you to start working on it because one day you're going to reap the fruit of whatever it is that you're planting now. So, my youth, we are rounding up now. We're rounding up now. We are encouraging you. We know that the tides might be so fierce. We know that challenges might be so much on you that it feels like you're actually doing nothing. It, sometimes it feels like your efforts are not being appreciated. It feels like I'm getting it right, but nobody is seeing it. Please, by all means, I will encourage you. Someday, you are going to see the benefit of this. And of course, the people around you will look and say, surely you held on the fort and you fought a good fight. So everyone out there, if in any way you have deviated, you were pursuing the good quality and suddenly you missed it. God is still very much interested in you retracing your step back. And as you do so, we also, we are youth, we are all growing. So we are going to still apply these principles and we believe that God Almighty will lead us to the right path as we grow onwards in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much for being here with us. I know you really enjoyed it, but we'll still, if you have any question, you can still put it down so that next week we can always tackle it or even reply however it is and we know that God Almighty will help us in Jesus name Amen our brother, brother Gabriel can you help us pray? Father in the mighty name of Jesus Amen the Lord of King Lord of Lord ancient of David bright and morning star the lily of all uh -huh. that I am that I am we thank you for such a great privilege you've given to us as an individual, as a youth, to speak to those that are out. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray that everything that you've used us as a channel to speak to you about, we pray that it will go out and do the needful in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we pray for ourselves also that we ourselves, as we've spoken, we will go home and make use of them in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we pray for youth out there. As this video go from one point to the other, Life should be changed. Life should be turned in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Life will be changed. Life will be turned in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. I said life will be changed and life will be turned in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Because we believe that Jesus Christ only is the one that can do it. And as we've spoken this night, we've spoken that which he has put in our mind. Amen. We pray that as we've spoken out, to people and it will also germinate and also give for good fruit in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for advancing our prayers. Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. All right, bye. bye.